Welcome everyone to another episode of Slasher Scotty. I am your host Scotty McCoy and I have an, a uh, cast member from the indie film Samhain on the phone. He played Benji Turner. His name is Tyler Ebert. Hello Tyler, how are you doing? Oh, I'm doing pretty good, Scotty. How about yourself? I am doing great. Um, I, you are the last, I believe, interview I have of the sound crew. I had a couple scheduled this week, and only a few of them panned out the way I would like. Uh, some of them were got to get postponed, but uh, hopefully we'll get a, get them on in the future. But uh, So I got a couple questions for you. Uh, the first one I have is, uh, what made you want to audition for the role of Benji Turner? Um, actually, I actually did not want to originally audition for Benji. Um, Benji was not my original audition. I believe my original audition was for Will? Cameron. Was it, it was either Will or Cameron. I think it was Will. It might have been Will, actually, yeah. Yeah, so, so I started with, uh, I started the audition with Will. Um, that one, that one went okay. It, it wasn't the best. Um, and then Scotty walks up to me and he goes, hey, would you want to try two other characters here that we have? And I was like, yeah, yeah, sure. Let's, let's give it a shot. So he hands me the, the script for Cameron next. Um, I did that one. Again, it wasn't perfect, but it was also, it wasn't bad, you know? All right. Um, then I get the script for Benji. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was reading this, and it was in, it was in intervals between my three auditions um i got i got a little bit ahead and i read up and i was like oh dude this is this is me (laughs) i'm seriously playing myself in this one all right let's go yeah so so i i did that um and that audition went amazing you know Mm -hmm. everybody loved it everybody who saw it loved it you know but at first, I was actually kind of hesitant at first, you know. I was like, right. yeah, like, everyone loved it. But, like, like it was just that fear in the back of my mind of, like, what if I just mm-hmm. didn't make the cut, you know? <laughs> like, that would have that sucked. Yeah. But, um, so we went home that day, and I was, I was eagerly waiting a phone call, you know. Mm-hmm. And I was sitting down in my room playing Forza Horizon, I think it was. Right. I was playing at the time. I get the phone call from Scott, and he says, hey, uh, I know you auditioned for us. We actually really liked your role for Benji, and would you want to play with us? And uh, that sounded weird. Would you... Would you want to come and play this character for us? And I was excited. I was so ecstatic. I was like, "Yeah, yeah, absolutely!" Right. That's awesome. And I didn't know this at first, but Scotty actually called my mother before me and said, "Hey, uh, we actually want him to play as Benji." And. Yeah. So then he calls me. I run downstairs to tell mom that I got the part, right? <laughs> she looks at me and she says, Congratulations, Benji. I'm like, What? How did you already know? <laughs> And it's funny because I called your mom first because uh, I I was first I was actually calling her on behalf of your two little sisters who auditioned for the uh, Trick or Treat Kids that had the dialogue in the movie, and uh, let, right, yep, That's right, yep. And then your mom asked, hey, can I ask about Tyler? I'm like, yeah, I guess, but just don't tell him. He's, he's got Benji. She's like, oh, he's going to be so happy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. That, that was actually a really, really good experience. Exactly. So there was a big, a pretty big fight scene in the film where all four nerds um, end up taking on Relic one at a time. And the first one up to bat was Benji. Can you tell everyone how that fight scene went and how it was choreographed? Oh, man. we were doing next and uh gabby the director said we're doing a fight scene next i'm like oh okay let's go (laughs) and so 
they were like, all right, so we need to beat Relic up somehow. And I was thinking, I was like, okay, so what would, what would my first thing be here? Okay, I wouldn't like like directly throw a punch at him, you know? Because right. like, he'd be expecting that. And so I was like, okay, so I'll charge him and I'll kick him. He, he, will, he won't be expecting that, right? Right. Like, like knock him down, you know? Mm-hmm. But, um, so that was the first thing I wanted to do when I first thought about it. It's like, okay, so we're doing that. Mm-hmm. But we needed more to that. We, we needed to add more, more spice, you know? Right. So Brett and I, we were, we were taking a look around to see what we could do, right? Mm-hmm. There was an old tire swing that was still hung up, right? You know, kids probably put it there like 20-some years ago. I don't know. I, I don't fucking know. <laughs> but, um, and then around there, there was like some, some rotting branches, right? Like mm-hmm. pretty brittle stuff. You know, it'll break if you hit it off your hand. Right. And so, Brett and I, we were, we were clonking our heads together trying to figure out what to do. Right. And so, we were like, okay. So, I'll knock you down, right? Yeah. Like, okay. And I'll come back to this tire, okay? Right. And when you get back up, I'll hit you with it. And they're mm-hmm. like, okay. Sound, sounds easy enough, right? Mm-hmm. And so, um, then we, were, we decided, okay, we'll, we'll hit you with one of these branches, you know? Like, like if we're gonna, if we're gonna make this look real, like, I gotta really lay a beating on you. Yes. And I feel like I, I feel like that was actually really, really useful. You know, to mm-hmm. use props that we just found in the woods. Yeah, you know? and it worked out because that branch, like, it wasn't rigged. It wasn't made specifically for the scene. Like, when you hear that branch get broken off of off oh, yeah, of Brett, yeah, that is like real. Shit, whole ass branch. And I it hit. broke. <laughs> And, and you know what? I think he actually got bruised. Dude. I think his he had, his his whole forearm started getting swollen. Let's see where are we at. So, uh, what was the best part about filming Samhain, and what was the worst? Oh man, best parts. Oh, um, the best parts were every time I was on set. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I think I think the best part was um when we were trying to find like a spray bottle. Mm-hmm. Oh, dude. Uh, so we were trying to find a spray bottle for the uh, uh, the Benji spray. Right. And I was looking around Yag's house. He just moved in. And, you know, I was like, okay, instead of sitting here like sitting ducks let's just, with, with our thumbs up our ass, let's just look around and see what we can find. Right. Because I'm, I'm really big when it comes to that. <laughs> right, right. Um, I, find, I, I, find, I, I managed to find a spray bottle. And it looked like it had water in it or, or bleach. My my apologies. So I opened it up. I took a uh, I took a sniff at first, and I was like, "Wait, okay, so it's not bleach. <laughs> so what is it then? It doesn't smell like bleach. It doesn't smell like soap. It doesn't smell like anything. You know? Right. So I took a swig. And uh, I, Abby saw me take the swing. <laughs> she looks at my face. I, I ended up puckering up and stuff like that. <laughs> she, looks, she looks at my face and she goes, not water, is it? <laughs> and I go, I, I just shake my head. I go, mm-mm. <laughs> mm-mm. <laughs> Turns out what was in the bottle was vinegar. <laughs> yeah. Distilled white vinegar vinegar let me guess you never had vinegar again oh no oh no uh i actually i actually really like the taste of vinegar actually oh, okay. it's, just, it's just i wasn't expecting it right it, it was oh, one of those moments where right it's like okay so what is it and then something happens that you do not you would never see coming right oh my god that's crazy what about the worst uh worst time when we made bets on when Scott was going to hurt himself. <laughs> oh, God. 
<laughs> um, so the last question I got for you, uh, so I know you're a big horror movie buff. So, uh, so uh, which horror flick was the one to get you into the horror genre as a fan? Oh, man. Um... <clears throat> Right. When I first moved in with my stepfather. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and, uh... Mm-hmm. I think the one that I saw that I really liked the most was probably either Halloween right. or uh, Friday the 13th. Nice. Or Nightmare on Elm Street. I think that was also a very big one that got me into this genre. Right. Um, so, I really watch, I, I I wasn't too heavy into it at first. Um, in fact, I was actually really scared of it at first. Right. I'm not going to lie. Because I was, I was super young at the time, and I wasn't really used to seeing stuff like this in somebody's house, you know? Right. And, um, so, it took me a little bit to to really get used to it. Mm-hmm. And nice. I I sat down the one day and I think I think he Bill was watching uh he was watching something on Chiller. I think it was either the Twilight Zone, okay. Monsters or Freddy's Nightmares. Okay. Anybody knows that show, you get bonus points. Um <laughs> But I think it was one of those things that just kind of inched me a little bit forward. Right. And then I watched one of the movies. You know what I'm saying? Yes. It... And I can't remember exactly which one it was, but it was one of the three that I just said. Right. So it was Michael, Jason, and Freddy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, that's awesome. I know a Hollow- a Friday the 13th was the one I first started watching. I believe it was part seven. Um, but Halloween was uh, is my all-time favorite at this point now, especially the original John Carpenter. I've always loved uh, Halloween. Uh, John Carpenter's was amazing. I mean, it's the original. Like, you always yeah. have to respect it, you know? Mm-hmm. But to be completely honest... I know I you're, you're a Rob Zombie it. fan, right? Yeah. <laughs> I knew it. Yeah. I, I I knew you would. I, I, I like it because it's different. Yeah. It's a different take on it. Yeah, and I like Rob Zombie's first one because I do like the backstory of Michael Myers. A lot of people hate that. Um, a, a lot of people absolutely hate... I even like the second one. The second one was great, too. Right. I like the first better than the second one. The second, I, I can wa- like, let's put it this way. I can watch the Friday the 13th reboot. I can watch the two Rob Zombie's Halloween's. But A Nightmare on Elm Street 2010, I cannot stomach that one. Yeah, sorry. I can't. I can't. I can't do it sorry. without Robert England. I just yeah, can't. Yeah, that's true. I understand yeah, where they like, come from with it, but I can't. Yo, I found out something funny. Yeah? Uh, the guy who played as Freddy in that movie, Yeah. he also played as the terror in the reboot of The Tick. Oh, wow. On Amazon Prime. Nice. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, I heard he's a nice I, guy, and he he did he did put a good spin on his his version of Freddy. It's just it isn't Freddy for me. Yeah, just even the makeup. It's not. It's just not Freddy Krueger. Yeah, sorry. yeah, I agree. Well, I think and yep. It's also the same reason why my stepdad doesn't like it. You know? Yep, exactly. Well, I thank you, Tyler, for your time. Yep, so before I uh, end this call, um, I do want to do a little promotion. So uh, for those that want to see sound, it is in select theaters, primarily in Schuylkill County. We were supposed to be in a roughly 19 theaters, um, and I think like 16 of them were going to be in Pennsylvania. But because of COVID, unfortunately, we are in two theaters and five days. So we got very we got the shit end of the stick, but uh, so, but I want to let everybody know that uh, we are going to be at the Majestic Theater in Pottsville on October sixteenth and seventeenth, as well as the thirtieth and thirty first. Um, some of the cast and crew will be at uh, oh there will be cast and crew at every event. I will be at the one in the sixteenth. Tyler will be on the one at the seventeenth. Um, also on the sixteenth, I will be selling T shirts um, after the movie ends for those that want to. Uh, 
for those that want to, uh, you know, purchase anything, uh, they are able to do that, and if they're able to make it. We'll also be, so far, at the Hazleton uh, uh, Cinema Draft House in Hazleton on uh, October 19th. That one may not happen yet, so stay tuned to our Facebook fan page. I'll give you that in a little bit. Um, because of them having a restaurant in the theater, it, it would cost them more to run the place with half with 50% than it would to be open and le- and show movies. Um, so they wouldn't really be making anything. They'd be losing in the end. So uh, stay tuned. We might not be able to appear there. Um, we will also be um, this Saturday, September 26th. We will be um, at the uh, – I forget where it's located. Stay tuned to our Facebook fan page. I believe it's at, it's, it's um, on Fireman's Road, though. It's uh, in Frackville, Pennsylvania. It is for a fall festival, and we will be doing a uh, – we will be uh, vendors there, and uh, we're going to be selling DVDs. Yes, you heard it right. We will be selling DVDs, $10 each, of Samhain, um, the movie on Disc 1, and Disc 2 will be all the special features. Um, and it's about maybe 146 minutes total content. Um, so uh, we'll be selling that for $10 as well as T-shirts. And uh, we'll be at Creature Feature, and that will be uh, on October 17th. And we'll be selling, again, DVDs and T-shirts as well there. Um, and that'll be, like I said, October 17th. Um, tune into our Facebook. Give us a like on www.facebook.com slash gravestonefilms. Um, you'll be able to see all the dates, times, and which cast and crew will be appearing at each of the events. Um, and we hope to see everybody there. Um, also, we will be on Amazon Prime come October uh, 23rd is the or is the current plan. I'm just waiting for our captions to get done. We uh, outsourced those to somebody else because I got sick of doing them because they kept getting rejected by Amazon. Um, and DVDs will also be available on Amazon. You can purchase them on there, and that will also be um, at, on uh, October 23rd. So you can get Samhain. Literally, you can watch it in time and during spooky season for Halloween. So, uh, again, thank you, Tyler, for your time. Do you have anything to add? Um, uh, not really. Awesome. Uh, I, know, I know things are kind of crazy right now. But yeah, it really is. You know, don't lose the faith, man. Exactly. Uh, we'll all get it through it together. Just be nice to everybody. It's not that hard to be nice to somebody. Just, you know, yeah, show, show you. Just, yep. just be kind to one another. You exactly. Know? Just, Exactly. It's not that hard to get along with everybody. And uh, I mean, I never saw the point of being racist, homophobic, sexist, ageist, um, or, you know, loving your fellow brother and sister and neighbor. Like, it's really not that hard. Like, everybody is just human. Just treat everybody equal. And we'll get through this pandemic together. And, uh, you know, if you can't go to the theater, we completely understand because, uh, first of all, you, a lot of people that listen to this probably don't live in Schuylkill County. But uh, if you, uh, yeah, but uh, you can get the DVD, like, if you want to social distance and want to be safe. We understand we're not going to hold anything against anybody. Um, there's a lot of people that wanted to come to the premiere. They couldn't come to the premiere because of the pandemic. We were not mad. We completely understood. Um, it, like, we really did. Like, we, there's no hard feelings at all. We just want you to be safe. Um, even if, like, I'm, I'm young, I'm healthy, I could survive this pandemic. My dad is battling stage four brain cancer, might not be able to survive it if I were to get something and end up giving it to him. So we get if, you know, some, if you're afraid of it all and you want to social distance and be, you know, if you can't do it because you have a loved one that's sick and you don't want to risk it. We understand just be safe, be healthy, and be happy and treat everybody with respect, love, and care. And uh, again, Tyler, thank you so much for your time. I truly appreciate it. Of course, man. All right. You have a good rest of your day. You too. All right. Bye. Be kind and safe, everybody. Yep. Sounds good. Bye, bud. Bye. Bye.